this video we're going to look at the dget function in Microsoft Excel. The dget function allows you to perform a lookup on a unique lookup value from a data set. One thing I really like about this function is it has two-way lookup capabilities. You can do a lookup from left to right or right to left. Now there are a couple of rules you need to follow in order for this function to work properly. First, you need to have a table style data set that you're performing your lookup in, and that table must contain unique header values. In addition, you have to have a unique lookup value. You cannot have a lookup value that returns multiple matches because that will create an error when you try and run this function. So what we want to do here is perform a lookup to this data set of loan records based on this loan ID number here. So we're going to insert the dget function. The first input is the database, which is your table of data. You need to select the headers with that. I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down because we want that to stay fixed. The next input is the field that we want to return. Now we could input the column number of that field, we could type in the text of that field header, or we can use a cell reference that contains that field name. So that's what I'm going to do here is just use the cell reference here. The final input is the criteria we want to search on. Now this is a little bit misleading because you would think one single criteria value, but what you also need to input here is the name of the field that contains your criteria value. So what we need to do here for this last argument is select this range here that includes both our criteria value as well as the header of the field that it's located in. So I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down because we want this to stay fixed as we drag our formula to the right. So I'm going to drag this to the right and use fill without formatting so that we don't pick up this date formatting as we drag across. So you can see this loan ID here returns that record. It returns the loan type, which is to the left of that record and then all these other fields that is to the right of our search column. Another thing I like about this function is it's pretty easy to do some wildcard searches. So if I wanted to search on client name this time with anything that begins with the word green, we can do so. And this will work so long as your wildcard search value doesn't produce duplicate records. So keep that in mind. So you can see this pulls back our client name Green Yards. And if we wanted something that contained a certain word, we could add a star in front of the word we want to search on. So if we wanted to look for something like containing the word vision, you can see this begins with the word point, but contains the word vision and it pulls back that record as well. So in this final example, I want to show you a data set that does not have a single unique value field, but two fields combined together make a unique value. So you can see here we have a data set of sales year to date by location and sales team. So every location has three sales teams. So each of these fields together makes a unique value. So what I also want to do is create drop down 
selection menus in the sales here so we can perform searches of year-to-date sales based on different selection combinations based on drop-down menus so I'm gonna go up to data data validation I'm gonna use a list I'm gonna just manually type in these three branch numbers because the range has duplicate values and if I try and put that in a drop-down menu it'll have duplicate values and I don't want that so I'm just gonna manually key these in here and do the same for our sales team numbers Insert the dget function. Our first input is our data range, and then the field we want to return is the sales year to date. And our criteria this time is actually going to be this range here that includes our two field headers and our two search values. format this here so you can see for branch 2 team 3 we return the year to date sales and I can adjust this and it will update automatically well that is all for now thanks for watching please remember to subscribe